ginger tea, which as you can see looks absolutely spectacular. It is freshly cut ginger or chunks of oranges and this is perfect on a cold day because even though it's August, it's a little bit of chilly outside. So this is a perfect shimon if you're trying to catch a little cold. And then uh, we decided to go with a traditional Polish dish here. So obviously everything is vegan. So this is called uh, kotlet shab shabobi. And uh, it is a katla shabobi, which is served with potato and uh, herb puree and fried cabbage with dill. So here we have the cutlet, which is made out of it is made out of soya. It's fried, and then here we have pureed vegetables with potato, of course, and the fresh salad, which is lettuce, beets, and the cashew uh, cashew cream with dill on the top. On the so this is going to be our food. So let me dig in and see what I think. First, let's start with this. Looks amazing. So as a vegan, usually you cannot eat uh, um, uh, pureed potatoes anywhere because they usually put butter. But it's the same. Mm. Very, very yummy. In addition to being vegan, this is very gluten-free as well. So this is not overpowering, it is not too salty, it is perfection. So here you can see the close-up, this is made out of soy, so it is a fried cutlet. Gluten-free. Amazing. Oh. I'm chewing for five hours. So, it really tastes like like you're eating chicken, honestly. I feel like if you served it to somebody who didn't know what they were eating, they would know the difference. I'm already drooling. It's so delicious. <laughs> so, this is amazing. We couldn't get the pierogi, unfortunately, because I'm trying to stay gluten-free. But if you're not gluten-sensitive, pierogi is the way to go because that is traditional Polish cuisine. It is my favorite time, which is dessert time. So here what we have is a uh, cheesecake made with chocolate and uh, blueberries and it looks absolutely spectacular. So let's see what this beauty tastes like. Look at this. Oh my god. Amazing. It is creamy, sweet, but not too overpowerly sweet. Actually, this is the perfect dessert because you can eat like half of the cake of this and you wouldn't feel like you're over like you're over stacking on sugar. This is amazing. So look at it all around. Look at it. It's amazing. So honestly, if you're ever in Warsaw as vegan, even as a non-vegan, I would highly suggest to stop by this beautiful place because you will not be disappointed. The food is amazing, portions are great, and the prices are very reasonable, so definitely check them out. So let me know what you guys think. Drop me a line in the comment box below. Have you ever been to Warsaw? What has been your favorite place to eat at? And uh, let me know what other places you would like me to review for you. So like this video, share, subscribe to my channel. And until next video, stay strong on your vegan voyage. Ciao! Thank you.